Hi, this is Roger Krohn, President of Network and Space, and today we're here in Oshkosh, Wisconsin at what is called the EAA Air Venture, and this is really the world's largest fly-in for general aviation enthusiasts. A lot of home-built, a lot of warbirds, a lot of antique aircraft, and I'm here in the Jeppesen booth, uh, and Jeppesen is a big uh, participant, a big sponsor here for years, and this year we actually have a Boeing Space Exploration booth as part of our outreach initiative to remind the United States how important space exploration is and that we are and will continue to be a leader in space exploration. Now I'm here with Mark Van Tyne, who's the Vice President of Digital Aviation for Boeing Commercial Aircraft and also the CEO of Jeppesen. Mark, you've been coming here a long time. Tell us a little bit about the show and why it's important for Jeff to be here. Well, it is uh, the largest air show in the United States, and it's kind of uh, uh, aviation mecca and a little bit of uh, aviation Woodstock. Right. Uh, you know, there'll be 10,000 airplanes that fly in here, 500,000 people who attend the show over a one-week period. Uh, for this week, it is the busiest airport in the world wow. um, as uh, aircraft come in and out. And it's a chance for us to see customers, to see friends, and we work with the OEMs. Um, it is uh, also a place where we get to showcase new products and, and services to, uh, to the marketplace. Now, I'm an IFR pilot, and I've been using JEP for years, but really this product and the iPad is moving you stronger into the VFR world. Well, and so, so what is this? And maybe tell us a little about what that is, right? So, so the iPad itself, um, in, in all segments of aviation, is disruptive. You know, it's an enabling technology that uh, that's really important. But at this show, for the first time, we introduced a, a VFR, Visual Flight Rule product, for those who don't fly um, in the clouds. Uh, and so, for forty-nine dollars, they get what is truly a data-driven uh, application that uh, that improves safety and improves uh, access information. Uh, and that, that's compatible with then our IFR products for right. professional pilots and IFR rated pilots. And it runs on an iPad, it's a, essentially touch screen, very easy to use. Simple to use, right. uh, uh, great, uh, great situation awareness in the cockpit. Um, I had the opportunity to use it uh, flying from Arlington, Washington. Right. To, flying in here, here right, in a, right. In a private airplane. Yeah, great. Uh, it's just a, um, an important uh, act tool for, for our customers, and again, it's compatible with uh, the other products, but uh, it's a subscription-based, uh, and so right. every 28 days, the database right. is updated. And, and it's $49 a year? $49 a wow, year. Wow, that's just terrific. So, so that's really, and, really no, set the, the a new standard for the marketplace. Right, no more paper charts, no more updates. Well, as a pilot, that will be really valuable. For the so. first, first time, our customers can really be uh, paperless. Right. Now, the, the kind of history of this air show, the people that come here now, it kind of started out as an experimental fly-in, and it's right. really blossomed and grown into a, just a huge gathering of aviation enthusiasts. So we also see a lot of business aviation pilots, a lot of the airline our customers. We've had a number of meetings with our airline colleagues um, in the military. Now, this is the first year we haven't seen so much right. in the military because of sequestration. Uh, but in a normal year, uh, the, um, they're very, very well represented uh, on the military side as well. Now, the installed base for Jeppesen, is it kind of a mix between airline, corporate, yeah. and general aviation? So when you look at our business, 52% uh, of it is commercial aviation, so airlines. Um, and the other 48% is general aviation, business aviation, and the military. Huh. In fact, our fastest growing segment is military uh, um, around the world, and right. not just in the United States. Right, and of course, where we work together is providing Jefferson products through our NGA contacts and the NGA uh, FAR compliant contracts that we have within Network and Space, right. essentially creating a channel for Jefferson products to go into that, that military customer. It is really, really important. So today, um, all military units, all military uh, services have access to Jefferson right. information because of that contract. Yeah. We also work um, with BDS on the C-17 program, on, yeah. uh, on right. the site and all the others, so, and providing electronic flight bags. So yeah. it's content and it's also software that enables yeah, That's products. terrific. You know, there's an innovation center here. I know you've got some exhibits in there. Uh, we were asked by our NASA customer as part of our outreach uh, to put a booth in. And so we've got our website. We had a lot of people come up, a lot of interest. And it's, it's really good to outreach to pilots because pilots get why space exploration is so important. And I know our, our team has been really excited about the whole event. 
So what's nice is this is the first year for the Innovation Center at uh, Oshkosh, and I think EAA is finding that it's a, it's a resounding success. And what a great way to touch not just the, the not just the public, but um, but the industry itself, yeah. and expose to them, to them to some of these ideas and future concepts. Um, so it's great to have Boeing presence here. Yeah, I know it's, it's good. It. Boeing Aviation, that's our heritage. Hey, again, thanks uh, for everybody out on the web. Uh, this is Roger Crone at Oshkosh in 2013, and thanks for making a bigger, better Boeing.